Hi folks, Bob Dale from Jackson Lee Sales in Jackson, Mississippi, where we sell motorhomes and occasional trailer, occasional race car, anything else we find that we like a lot. We're going to list a bus today that we bought, I guess, a week ago in Lakeland, Florida. We drove it nearly 800 miles home. Uh, Brandon claims it rides and drives better than my Lexus. I think that might be stretching a little bit. It does have a wonderful ride and drive. We've never had one before, but I watch these things just rags bring stupid prices at auctions. So we finally got one that's a bargain and we like it a lot. It's a 2008 Champion. 2008 Champion, the model, it's a Challenger. It's a 12 passenger bus. 12 passenger bus, but it has tie downs and all the assorted gear that goes with it for two or three wheelchairs also. I think this was used for the VA. It's a 4500 Chevrolet built on a 4500 Chevrolet chassis, a Duramax engine that runs and drives like a brand new one, only got 140,000 miles on it. The motorhome has tilt cruise that works, front and rear air, both of them are ice cold sitting on a good set of tires. This is, an, this is a really, really expensive, high dollar uh, uh, bus that we're gonna sell at a bargain. Come on, we'll show it to you here. Uh, that puddle underneath, that's con condensation from the air conditioning. We've been sitting here a while. Listen at that Duramax engine, how quiet it is. That's your power steering fluid. Uh, you can see it's all cycling. We haven't washed the engine or detailed it under the hood. This is just how it come in. There's no oil. Tires are great. No rust on the vehicle anywhere. Uh, Go inside. Uh, 4500 Duramax. Uh, see around here. Tires are perfect. Uh, it's got pneumatic doors. They open and close with the flip of a switch. Uh, go around the back here, son. Um, yeah, we... Now here, Brandon, you gonna work this wheelchair? Oh, you gonna? This thing's got a wheelchair lift too, folks. That works perfectly, impeccably. I don't know uh, about what this bus is worth. I, I, I don't know how much it costs. Forty thousand dollars, fifty, whatever it costs. But I know you can look up one of these wheelchair lifts, and they're about five thousand dollars. You can see all the lights work on it. Brandon's gonna, uh, yeah, I mean, it works perfect. It's got an interlock, so the safety door has to be up before it'll go the rest of the way down so you don't roll off the back and hurt yourself. You see here when it comes down, you see all the lights working? Are watch you gonna it. ride it back up? Yeah, watch that seat fold up. Just like it's a safety thing on it too. Yeah, so nobody can be near the door. Warning light. Pretty cool. If you need one, it's real nice, I can assure you. And it, as I said, just the lift is five thousand dollars or something. That doesn't include probably the same amount to, to install it. And even if you're not in the wheelchair, you know, it's got the arm handle, so if you just have trouble with steps, you can get on and get towed it up in it. It's got a back door here. You could put your dirt bikes on there and load them up. It's got a back door here in the escape door. I'm going to show you. Now, these hooks right here, we'll show you when we get inside, are to tie down wheelchairs. Beep it is for the alarm, the back door open. Uh, now, I don't know, folks, I've never had one of these, but I sure do like it a lot. What was you telling me? LEDs. Yeah, LED lights. Dan was telling me down at Hattiesburg they had some kind of 01 or 02 or something. Church bus that was just ragged out that brought $8,000 Wednesday uh, or Thursday. This is a 2000. This is a 2008 Duramax diesel that everything on it works and we just drove it nearly 800 miles. Uh, before we go inside, uh, show y'all this works. Uh, 
all the tires, good tread. These other front tires are almost new. All right, the dash air works. Flip the switch. Here's your got rear heat and air conditioning controls. That's your interlock for the wheelchair lift, so it don't can't be activated going down the road. You can see it's got a high idle system. So if you're sitting around for extended periods, you can there's no lights on. You can idle up the engine. Forty thousand miles. Now this hole right here, folks, they had some sort of controls in here. I don't know what they had, but they took them out. We're not going to try to cover that up. This was for the backup camera. We'll probably cover that up because you know we don't have a backup camera. Uh, I mean, I think you could put one in it. That's just an access hole. Yeah, I don't you think could it, a, uh, you could uh, put a. a little up you could mount a TV there and. Seats are perfect. Look at all this. Seats are perfect all throughout. Uh, it, it's got five seats, folks. Six. Two each. Six. Carries twelve. Now one or two, but two of these fold up against the wall if you want them and you can put a wheelchair here. Probably these back ones. Uh, well, they were folded up. I, they may all fold up some, I don't know, but I know there's two of them folded up because they had them folded up. But you can look back here, the air's ice cold. Now here's what I was talking about. It's got every seat, it's got seat belts, it's got seat belts back here. Push that button anyway. These are all hooks. You can adjust them to set your uh, tension. tension and everything. But there's a 32 hook. I don't know how many in here. But God knows what those things cost you. You had to buy them. Uh, and, and we got them for several. Uh, what is that green thing there, sir? Uh, that's a hat rack for midgets. <laughs> I don't know what it is. We never had one like this, folks. Uh, so I don't, I don't have any experience with it. I know this is a great plan. I'm going to list it, I'm going to sell it, I'm going to have a low reserve. My name's Bob Dale. My phone number is 601 218 1223. 601 218 1223. If you have any questions about this bus, give me a call. If you want to know what the reserve is, give me a call. If you want to buy it, make an offer, give me a call. You can call me anytime, uh, weekends, early morning, whenever. And if I don't answer the phone, it's because I have I'm on the phone. But I return every phone call I get without exception. Um, if you, uh, I guess, a, a church, a funeral home, a, a, a hospital, anyone could find a use for this and it's a really good one folks i mean it's a duramax diesel it's not a piece of thing it's a late model it's a 2008 so if you've had root need to have one of these and i don't know what to call what do you reckon this thing cost forty fifty thousand dollars one million dollars two hundred anyway I, I can't get a straight answer it's what happens when you have kids and you let them grow up without feeding them in cages or um, but anyway, this thing cost a lot of money. We're going to list it and we'll sell it. If you have any questions, call me. It's a 2008 Champion Challenger. It's a Chevrolet 4500 chassis, a C4500 with a Duramax diesel. It's got tilt and cruise. Cruise works front and rear. Both work uh, sitting on a good set of tires. That wheelchair lift, gosh knows how much that would cost. But buy and put in. You saw it working. Everything about it is just the way it ought to be. It's a nice 2008 bus if you have any need for something like this. I do appreciate you watching our video. Thank you so much for visiting with you about this bus. See you here in Jackson, Mississippi. Thank you. We're going to clarify this, uh, folks, in just a second. This 
left side, the driver's side, all three seats fold up. You can see down here how they're folded up. So you got two, three, four, you got Put four wheelchairs in here. Uh, more. It, it's got, I guess, for three. It's for five. Yeah. And there's the extra bags and everything else. Yeah. So. But that, that's how those work. I probably was not clear. Well, I didn't know. You see uh, how they fold up on this side. And they just lift down. That's all they do. And lock in place. And they all, they all have seat belts. See all the seat belts. Thanks.